So with the new season comes new craftable weapons, which many of you will be farming and trying to get the best role possible. We already have a dedicated area that many players have agreed on with using for farming purposes, which is Shirochi. It's relatively fast to get to, anyone can do it, an XP gain from it will allow you to rank up your given weapon within a few minutes to your required needs. But this isn't the only way to rank up your weapons, and in today's video I want to show you a few ways that you can use as an alternative if you don't want to go through the whole Sirochi method. Let's start with a controversial one, Dares of Eternity. This game mode allows users to run a short but fast gauntlet for loot at the end of the mission, but what makes it unique is that each encounter has a wide amount of battles available so you can rank up your gear fairly quickly, but also you can get unlimited heavy rounds if you complete the first and second encounter successfully and reach their given checkpoints. This makes it insanely useful if you want to focus on heavy crafting alone and don't have enough money to get banners by the dozen. And that's not all, as doing the activity will yield you with weapon drops and even more red border weapons if you haven't gotten them already, so all of that within a 5-10 to 10 minute run means that you can be swimming in loot and weapon XP galore. We then have Golgoth section in the King's Raid. This is a brand new and even better area to farm weapon XP as the amount of combatants you get are a lot more compared to Sirochi's encounter. You can level up a single weapon to at least 3-4 to four times before you need to wipe and reset again, and as this is a raid encounter, you can place banners down to easily help with your dwindling supply. The only issue with this method though is getting there, as the encounter is pretty far into the raid and that means you either need to find a capture point from someone or have a team available to run it and get to the section. However you look at it, the area is simple and at best, the most easiest route to rank up all weaponry available. Next we have the Mistress Disturbance Moon mission that comes into rotation every now and then. This mission here allows you to take on the wide number of combatants that seem to never end at first until you hit a certain checkpoint. You have spawning heavy crates and with scavenger mod you can make full use of the weapons that need upgrading there and then. It's also quite a small area so you don't need to go too far so this makes it a very nice area to jump in and out of. Only issue you have here is that you'll be joining with other people in the same instance, so you may have a few issues at time. However, it is possible to do a solo instance instead, but this is more of a call for you if you wish to do so. We lastly have the best for last, and that is the moon event out of sorrow. This one is the best public area where you can get non-stop enemies to spawn and use it to build up weapon XP relatively fast. Unlike Sorochi, you don't have to worry about wiping and repeating the section again, as there is quite a few rounds for you to participate in. Slap on some scavenger mods, and do the objective slowly, and you should be able to rank up your weapons by at least a few points before the public event ends. You can also do some moon bounties as well if you want to level up your characters, so don't sleep on this area. So this here should have given you a quick idea as to what other methods of weapon XP grind you can do. Sorochi will always be the best, but don't forget, your options aren't limited. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you all next one.